So there are some people who have been having problems uh, when downloading a third party plugin from different websites instead of uh, FL Studios exclusive plugins. So the problem is when you hit a key as you're selecting a preset from a particular plugin, there's no sound coming out. So if I'm if I'm pressing on the key, whatever key that I want to press on here, so it works. I go to the preset selection, and let's say I want to I want to choose butter something. I'm pressing the key right now, and there's no sound coming out. How can we fix this problem? I'm gonna show you how it's done. So now that you got your plugin downloaded, you're trying to get familiar with all the sound presets, you wanna test them out. I know it gets really frustrating every time that you're trying to select a preset and I'm pressing the key right now and there's no sound coming out. And every time you gotta take your mouse and you click right up to this bar up here of the plugin, you click on it and boom. There's a sound. Nobody likes that. I don't even like that. So I figured out a way to like fix the problem here. And what I did was I go to this settings icon and then I go here. Here we have three options. Here we have settings, processing and troubleshoot. Go to troubleshoot. And then you have all these other options here. Some of them are on, some of them are off. Go all the way down to the bottom. Allow FL Studio to process keyboard presses when the keyboard focus option is on. You wanna click on that, then go back, and then it should be working perfectly. No more selecting sound presets and you're having to move your mouse up here to click and then press down on the key on your keyboard just to choose what particular sound that you're looking for. So now, uh, as I'm browsing this library filled with sound presets, uh, I'm, I'm just testing out the sounds. I want to see what can sound good so I can make a beat out of it. So try this. See that? Works perfectly. I didn't have to move my mouse up here to click on. Um, I can go to the next one here. All right, next one. So there you have it, works perfectly. You shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I, I just happened to figure this out on my own. For those of you who have been having a hard time looking for the right setting to make this work. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like the video, and probably be coming out with more tutorials on how to fix certain problems with other plugins. And of course, FL Studio itself. So thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time.